Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cut, and we're here today to sew the signatures into the Spill and Tea journal for Fern. And I have my little book binding cradle that I'll show you how I use that if you haven't seen it before. So I've got all my pages together the way that I want them. I've clipped them up here at the top, and then I've taken out um, all the... Sorry, I've got uh, sorry silk and everything over here, but all the tags and things just to help with the bulk. So when you're sewing it in, hopefully you're getting like the straightest uh, spine that you know you can. It just helps to not have all that extra stuff in there when you're doing this part. So um, it's eight and a half. So I'm going to go to the center, which obviously would be four and a quarter if I can see my lines here, and I'm just going to put a little pencil mark, and then I like to go one inch up from the bottom and then one inch down from the top and I just put little marks with pencil that I can erase later and it would help if I had it actually in the spine so I don't end up poking it not in the spine alright so because we're just doing one signature for this journal I can go ahead and put it where I want it in the journal and I'm you know looking at the bottom looking at the top just trying to get it as evenly centered as possible okay so I'm going to go about there I'm going to use another clip and I'm probably not going to be able to clip this side because of the the flap here but I think I think it'll be alright with that and the um, cradle helps a lot with that so it's going to go right in the cradle, and as you'll notice, in these cradles, there's a divot in the center that helps to keep your all straight when it pokes down in there and holds your spine. I don't have any, um, like I was saying yesterday, um, like guides or anything because there's so many different size journals, and I'm looking and I'm seeing that this is kind of pushing this up because it's clipped. So a lot of times what I do is push down in the center and try to make sure that it's all the way down in there. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to take my awl and poke it through that middle hole. And you can feel it hits the bottom of the cradle. And pick it up. Come over here, do the top or the bottom, it doesn't make any difference. And then I'm going to take my thread here, and this is just um, upholstery thread. Uh, two, three. And sometimes I do a little more, whatever. It's, it doesn't have to be super precise, just as long as you have at least three lengths so that um, you have enough to stitch all the way through. and then we'll take it out of our cradle and then you'll see if I flip it over that right on the spine here is where the holes are so they're not off to the side or any place you don't want them to be they're right there in the center I try to really keep it pinched so that um, hopefully this will be easy which very often it is not bless you See, I'm having trouble hitting the um, pages. I think it's because of that. It lifts it, you know, so then it makes it a little trickier to get the... There we go. So it's going to come out there. Then I go all the way down to the bottom. And I know everybody kind of does this a little bit different, but make sure you leave enough of that through. There are a couple different ways to do the three-hole pamphlet stitch. It's just the way I do it. Down to the bottom, and then we're going to come back up through that center hole. This is always tricky. Ok, 
show you a little stinker. I'm going to come up through this hole and then I'll come through the paper. I just don't want to poke more holes in the paper, you know. So I, you don't want to force it because um, that's like the last thing you want is to poke extra holes in the paper. Or stab your finger while you're at it. Okay. So you can see now maybe if I come in a little bit closer. I just have to remember to back back out. But I have my central thread here, and then I have one on this side and one on that side. And that's what you want. Whoa, so sorry. Come back up. Okay, and then you're just going to, I like to, um, I'm going to take this off because I don't want that to make the pages any different. Um, I lift mine a little bit, and this is just my own personal thing. I just feel like it um, helps get any slack out of the thread. And I do it pretty snug. I mean, you obviously don't want to tear your paper or anything, but you do want it snug. You want those to be kind of like guitar strings, you know. You want them tight. And I tie it three times. You can tie it however you would like. Okay. And then I just... And I'll usually <clears throat> make one a little longer than another, just so it looks not so perfect. All right, and then I can take an eraser and erase any of those little marks. And voila, it's all sewn in. And then so what we're going to do is um, probably put some lace or something, but you can see these are nice and taut right along the spine, which is what you want. Um, we need to put in our pocket back here. This one that we made together for the, or with the sewing instructions. And I just had tied this little string around here so it'll get glued down to the back. It's just some Baker's twine in pink. Oh my goodness. This is always a challenge for me. Okay. And that'll probably be easier to do once it's glued. So I just need to kind of figure out where I want it. And I know I have this tab, but I think it's a little more important to keep this closed so every time you open the journal, it's not like flopping out of the journal. So that's going to go about there. And this did turn out a little bit sparkly all over. Like it's just very lightly sparkly from our spraying yesterday with the mica powder. So that was cool. Got to ask, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are awesome today. It's a nice day here, hot but very nice. It was actually um, all cloudy this morning, but the sun's starting to come out now. I kind of like it when it's a little cloudy because it keeps it, I don't know, it feels cooler just because the sun's not beating. I know that it holds the heat in, but did cool off a little bit last night, so it wasn't too bad this morning when I was out working in the yard. And you could make this another tuck, but um, this is already getting pretty full, so I don't think we need more tucks, and it's got quite a few pockets in this little uh, flip thing anyway, so. And I know I'm covering up all that stuff that I collaged on here, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay. And that might take a minute to get all the way glued. Let's open it up and make sure we get that. that pocket down real well. And if you haven't seen it, there's a video on how to make this um, sewing pattern pocket. And I'll try to remember to link that to the video so that it's easier to find. I just want 
that to stay there. <laughs> like, don't go anywhere. <clears throat> I'm not going to mess with the tie right now. I just, because I want it to just sit there, like, not moving. Okay, and then we have all of our little goodies to put back in here. Let's see, this is the envelope. And the belly band. That was our... This one. That we made yesterday. This had a journaling card. Oh, this is one of these. <clears throat> and so what I did, because this is just a lace pocket, and as you know, if you've ever done lace pockets, sometimes, you know, they're not like super, they're kind of flimsy, you know, floppy. So <clears throat> I didn't do it across the bottom, which I probably should have, but I just am going to put it in the pocket and just put this pin here just so that it's not falling out all the time and I just put one of those little um, BB craft charms on there with the rhinestone in it just to kind of keep it in place so it's not falling out this one had I think it or no it was this one wasn't it had the tea card and the lady And let's see. I made that little pocket yesterday. Nothing there. I have, look, I'm skipping a pocket somewhere. There's this one, <clears throat> which is the same thing we're going to do the pin on. Up there. And we're gonna, we'll be making some stuff today. I just want to get these back so I don't lose any of them in the shuffle, the paper shuffle. It was this one, wasn't it? And where did I have that one? I did skip a pocket somewhere. <clears throat> Oh, it was back behind that, wasn't it? I think. I don't know what I did. Well, eventually I'll find it, huh? If I did... Oh, this one. It was supposed to be that one. Because I was like, I didn't think I made one yet for that one. That's what we're going to do today. So we're going to make <clears throat> something to tuck back there. All right, so it was simple as that to sew in those signatures. Not too big a deal. It's, you know, a little more difficult, obviously, the more signatures that you get. But um, one's fairly easy. So that's a good place to start, you know, like a manila file folder and uh, one signature. It's not too hard. All right, so I have some things I cut out yesterday. And I need my glue paper. So I need to figure out which one of these I want to use. Yeah, I think the big one will work in there. So I'll use the big one. And this is one of the little ads that's in the price tag digi that I showed you guys yesterday. So I thought she would, or this would look cute behind this lady, and I found that one online. But I know like Mrs. Coggs has a lot of really pretty sort of English garden type looking ladies and stuff like that too. But I find them on Pinterest. It's like a painting from the 1800s. Okay. 
And I want this. Maybe I'll round the corners. I don't do that very often on pictures. He's a mat. Love this thing. It's great. Although I did get um, an ink spot on it that won't come off already. Because, of course, if I'd ever learn to put anything down when I'm, like, doing stuff that doesn't come out. But I don't ever learn to do that. back this as well but I was thinking it would be kind of cool to just do something like that I like the lady up here sticking out and then I got an idea from Artie Mays last night that I would use one of my round tickets are you going love you have fun Have lunch with a friend. Sorry, I'm just looking for something shocking, right? Jeez. I wanted these because I saw this after I cut some of those out, and you know how sometimes you just get tired of cutting. <laughs> Well, that was me last night so um yeah i want one more of these cut out so sorry i know this is painful to watch somebody cut these kind of things out but i don't know how else to do it so so these ones that are plain on the back you can also use them um as the backs for the tags that are in the kit if you know if you want to <clears throat> and on this particular one I'm going to because I think I'm going to put it kind of up in the hole that I punch so it'll be kind of dangling from there and I want you know to see both sides that kind of thing so are these about the same size roughly <laughs> and then trying to get the holes semi lined up so that when you punch it it doesn't look weird Okay, that'll work. I might have to trim just a tiny bit more around that, but it's fine. So I'll get some glue on there. I hope you're all well, healthy. I know, um, I think we're all kind of done all around the world with this whole coronavirus thing. I wish that um, we just had a cure and could just be done. That would be great. But I know. Wishful thinking, right? But we're all back here, which I mean, we wore our masks a lot anyways, but um, yeah, it's more mandated now again. So more people are wearing them, I guess, is what I'm saying. Okay. And then when we punch our hole in it, hopefully we will get... <laughs> we will do this, right? Maybe I better do the front. It's better that it looks the best on the front, right? That hole's a little bigger, but... It's two layers with glue, so hopefully it'll be all right. It's going to hang on a bulb pin. All right, which I need to grab. Because I always have to get stuff. Yeah, that's a way big hole. I should have used a smaller punch on that. Um, what else do we want? Like a piece of lace or something would be good. Would work. Yes, so thank you, Andrea. I don't I don't think she watches my channel, but I'm thanking her anyways <laughs> for the cool idea. 
I might even do another one on there, like one of the little tiny. I don't want another 25 cent. That would be sort of silly. Oh, seriously. My son is at 13 cents will work, and I'll use a smaller punch for this one. Um, I think I'm just going to back that with whatever, because it's a tag, so. I'll just go ahead and put it on one of these. But yeah, it was fun. She put a couple of like ticket type things. And I was thinking, oh, it'd be cool with these. Because I do these and then I just want to play with them. You know, these kids. So <laughs> had to do a little playing today. Needed a few tags and things anyway, so worked out. my tiny and if you don't have um, a hole punch especially like for these tiny ones you could just dot it with um, like black ink to make it look like there's a hole or use um, like an awl or a different type of pokey tool oh my goodness now where is my other oh it's right in front of my nose this is just an itty bitty one that I got from Stampin' Up, but if you don't, I was thinking though, um, the crocodiles probably have lots of sizes. I don't really know because I don't have one of those, but I got to ink the other one. It would probably be smart to um, like glue the two pieces of paper together just do like a rough square cut out of them glue them together and then cut them out so that you get the metal kind of the same size on both but you know I didn't think it through all the way before I did that that's fun oh we gotta finish our tag ding dong all right Maybe a little cheesecloth would be good. I'm finding it difficult to be um, the parent of an adult. <laughs> Do you guys, have you guys had those uh, struggles? Uh, it's very difficult to just be like, well, you're an adult, you can do what you want. I mean, within reason, obviously, she's still living here and not that she wants to do anything crazy or anything anyways, it's just, uh, I don't know. It is a little bit difficult. So I don't want to be like hovering or stifling her life, but yeah. at the same time, there's just things that, you know, I'm still, I still need to watch out for her. I'm thinking a piece of this might be kind of good. This is some of that that I sprayed with the uh, mica powder the first time. And it does make it a little bit stiff. I'm not going to lie about that. But it um, it isn't horrible, and I'm sure it would, you know, loosen up a little bit if you mess the bit. Oh, actually, that little piece of netting is better. This is a little bit thicker. I don't think you'll hardly see that. So, and this was a tablecloth, I believe. 
I've chopped the heck out of it now, so. I just need about like that. I'm going to have to put some thicker glue on that. Yeah, it's just weird. She's my oldest, so it's all, this is all an experience for all of us. <laughs> and she's not being difficult at all. She's super good kid and laid back and all that. It's just sometimes I feel like the Grinch. she's gotten a little bit more bold you know like what she wants to trial us with <laughs> but not not bad just because my son's definitely the the one that'll give you a run for your money Pushing the boundaries, I guess you'd say. I think I'm going to do a hole punch instead of an eyelet. Let's see. And then I will put... Oh, backing it would be probably a wise choice as well. Percussion camp again. They wore their masks all day yesterday. He's like, it just got so hot. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can imagine that would get a little toasty. I mean, they don't have to be outside quite as much this week, but next week they will be outside pretty much the entire time. I don't get to go feed them lunch. I'm so bummed. Cause I used to go help, you know, serve lunch every day. And I'm sad about that because then I get to, you know, see all the kids and see the new ones and try to figure everybody out, you know, remember them and all that so that when you're with them throughout the season, you know who they are and all that. But yeah, I don't get to do that. They're going to have to just take their own lunch. So that was a bummer because I had signed up and everything. I mean, I get it. They don't want any extra people that don't need to be there, but it's just, it's just a bummer. But I'm sure people have bigger bummers than that, so...
we need something to put through the hole there. Kind of don't feel like I want it that wide. It just makes it really bulky. But sometimes with sorry silk, it worked. Thank goodness, because sometimes it just like <laughs> does weird stuff when you try to tear it like that. At least that's what I've discovered. It's, it could be user error, of course, but All right. actually going to turn this pin around and go this way so that I can come up here and put it through this. There we go. So that's kind of fun with some little danglies on it. I always forget to do stuff like that. I kind of get in my rut of doing the same thing all the time. I think we all sort of do that in a way. So it's good to get out of that and do something else. So that will go right in there. So that was a fun one. I liked it. I like it. Another thing we need is a large journaling card or two or something to go in there so we can make another one. Another something. This is going to kind of be a fatty. It's going to, it's kind of round. <laughs> so I'll have to, I'm going to tie it up with, sorry, I think I'm going to do a big eyelet right there and then sorry to hold it because I got a little carried away. I do that quite quite frequently. Um, what did I put? That's over there. I have a journaling card left. Let's see, use it. Have some other images of ladies at tea. I also have, I like this little girl. She's really cute. She's like, Serving her, looks like her brother and sister, you know, they're playing, having a tea party. I think I like that one better. Use that. And again, those are just ones that I've found online. I do need to back this. Let's see, what do we got? Do some ledger. I'll go kind of that way, maybe. I know the lines will be going the wrong way, but you can turn it and write on it or however. So I'll probably do the flip through of this journal tomorrow, Fern. So um, then it'll go in my shop. And the book cradles I have right now, I have a forest green, navy, gray, and red. I have a total of six. Some colors I have two of. <clears throat> gray I only have one of. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, if you, you know, like the way they work or whatever, they're in my Etsy shop. And my husband prints those on his 3D printer, so it's not like we get them from an outside company or anything like that, where we print them. Oh man, I didn't get that straight on there. Well, I'll have to put a little... <laughs> he didn't want me to do that. It's like, how many times do you have to do this before you get it right, right? I think by now I could do it.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have nails, but it doesn't seem like it because I can never pick up anything. I think I could just dink, pick it right up. Uh, let's see what else we want to put since I messed that up. Piece of this. Oh my gosh, Amy. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> that my brain is so fried. Ugh. Honestly. Just kind of go like a little a little doo up there like that. It'll add a little extra tea spilled interest. That is the awesome part about a junk journal. You can usually fix just about anything. And sometimes when you make mistakes and after you fix it, you're like, oh, wow, I like that better. <laughs> that was a total dur moment on my part. give the journaling side a little more interest. The cool thing with these um, journaling cards, you could just, you know, plunk them in pockets like that because you got room to write on it too if you don't, you know, if you don't want to decorate them or whatever. I'm going around the pockets again. I liked that, or the corners pockets. Another silly little thing you forget to do. They look so cute there having their tea. That little edge is like just doesn't want to. It's so crazy now though that. Um, with my son driving too. I mean, I didn't have to drive them last year to band camp either because my daughter did, but uh, now they just both drive themselves everywhere, so it's kind of nice. I mean, kind of freaky sometimes, but kind of nice. I'm still, you know, getting used to the idea of my son driving, so <laughs> I'm always on him. Text me when you get there. It's those weird little pieces from rounding it. Okay. Oh, upside down. I was like, something looks weird there. Put a flower or something on there. Flower. Some of Tina's. It's like I always want them going the other direction. It seems like that one wouldn't be bad. That's just a piece from one of her <laughs> that I tore in half or not in half, more than half. That's like a quarter of it left. Mm. 
Oh, that's so cute, Cherish. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Goodness, I'm sorry. I just cannot pick up anything off of here. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> okay. Lots of goodies from Tina right here. Flowers, her dictionary definitions. And uh, that little piece there. And that's Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. I'm sure you guys know Tina. down first. Yeah, it sounds like the um, BSU band is going to have to split the kids up into like three separate bands is what they've decided to minimize the amount of exposure you know they have to others so it'll be that group together the whole season and not with the other any of the other groups so yeah it'd be interesting to see how all that works out that could end up being good or bad it just depends because um, a lot of these kids that we have going from our school district are friends and of course they're not going to all end up together you know how that goes in those situations so it might get not real fun if like one person ends up being the only one not in the group or you know two people or whatever you know it's all that real fun life stuff just get glue from one side and smear it to the other but yeah so i don't know what's gonna go on with that i mean i get why they have to do it it's just whole thing is so nuts. It's like your first year in college and you got to deal with all of it. It's just crazy. Ah. husband just keeps saying can we be done with 2020 <laughs> it's like yeah I just am worried that it might not get better anytime soon so I don't know <laughs> even if we get to 2021 is that going to solve our problems I don't know it's crazy crazy just wrinkle that corner up a little there Fun little one. Those little guys on there, little kids, kiddos. That's gonna be weird for me this year. Not um, going back to element, doing the elementary school, working at the elementary school. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, that'll work well in there. So see. Okay. I think that was all 
of the pockets. Let's get this tied back up. So I think that's where we will stop for today. And I hope you guys are liking the spilling tea little journal here. Hope you found some fun ideas and things. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. You guys are an awesome support system for me. I don't know what I would do without you guys, especially through all this. At least this gives me something to think about, you know, on a daily basis that's not depressing. <laughs> I mean, of course, my kids are bad too, but... Oh, you know what we can do? We could put this, uh, the eyelet in there. That's what else I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have other things to think about than all the garbage in the world that's going on. So I thank you guys for that. It's pretty awesome. So I just have a big fat, um, you know, thing here. And this is loud. I may end up stopping the camera and coming back. In fact, that's what I'm probably going to have to do. I'll stop the camera and I'll come back because I have to bang. I don't have a copper dial, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the hole in there, so I've just, you know, there's the eyelet set in there. And I'm just going to bring this around and put it through here. And um, then it can be tied in a knot or a bow or whatever you want to do. And this isn't, you know, super sturdy because you can just flip that bow under to untie it. But it's going to hold it if it's just setting, so... I think it will be fine. I hope you guys like that, and we'll chat again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.